Hi, welcome to this video and this channel and in this video we will be discussing the various mathematic topics that you go through when you are pursuing a course in building and civil engineering. And this will be for various students pursuing courses in building and civil engineering in TVET institutions where the examining body is the Kenya National Examination Council. I like making videos in mathematics because there is a lot of myth associated with engineering courses and mathematics where people get information pertaining engineering courses that is not accurate and therefore they end up either choosing the wrong course or avoiding the courses they could have successfully pursued. In some situations I've seen people pursuing engineering courses when one they did not do physics and two they perform very poorly in mathematics and this leaves them really struggling in engineering courses and therefore it is worth taking your time before you pursue any engineering course, you check how much mathematics is in that particular course so that you do not end up selecting a course that has too much mathematics that you end up struggling or you do not end up wasting your potential and you could have successfully pursued a certain engineering course. I've done similar videos for the various mathematics topics in electrical engineering and videos for various mathematics topics in mechanical engineering. If you have not watched the videos, you can watch them in the link shown here or in my video description here. And because the mathematics in building and the mathematics in civil engineering is the same, so you expect the same topic to be in diploma in civil engineering. This is mathematics for the first year of study, certificate in building technology, and the trainings are supposed to do number system, fraction and decimals, logarithm and indices, and this topic are the topic in uh, the number system, fraction and decimals. They are the topic in uh, form 1. So notice how little time is allocated for the various topics. Number, says, number system is allocated for us. Fraction and decimals is allocated 8 hours. Indices and logarithm is allocated 8 hours. Because you had already previously done this in high school, and therefore it is assumed that you will be in a position to grasp the various concepts within the time allocated. There is algebra, a topic I said is very important in all engineering courses. The sequence and series, you did this previously in high school. Time allocated is 9 hours. There is mensuration, a topic I would consider very important for builders and civil engineers. Mensuration is all about measurement. And in civil engineering and building, you know there is a lot of measurement. We have gone through the syllabus for both civil engineering, building and also for water engineering. And you have seen Measurement is a very important concept, especially when you are measuring the quantity of various materials that need to be used, that is the cement, the concrete, and also the amount of excavation that need to be done. There is a lot of measurement involved in the field of building and civil engineering. There is a topic in graphs, and there is elementary statistics. Uh, trigonometry also is also important to civil engineers because here they will be dealing with degrees, angles of elevation, and so on. Uh, which is important for uh, various work, especially in surveying and so on. For the second year of study, Mathematics 2, the training will cover topics such as uh, probability, statistics, and then there is uh, commercial arithmetics, there is trigonometry, uh, which we have said is very important in uh, civil engineering, not only in civil engineering, even in electrical engineering video, I really try to insist Matrices is also a topic common to all engineering courses. Uh, vectors, another important topic in uh, uh, all engineering courses, mechanical, civil, electrical. Again, there is introduction in calculus. Uh, the first part of introduction in calculus is differentiation, where you cover the various methods of differentiation, integral calculus, where you'll be covering the various methods of integration, and so on. Uh, let us go to the topics for Diploma in building. Diploma in building, the first year of study. Mathematic one. There is number system. There is indices and logarithm. Algebra. And we have said algebra is so important that it will always keep appearing not only in mathematics itself but even in other subjects in engineering courses. So we need algebra for other units to cover, not only in mathematics at all. The same case applies with calculus and trigonometry. They, are regularly, they regularly appear in other 
subject will be covering, in addition to being in mathematics. As we have said, uh, for engineers, civil engineers and builders, we used to do measurement angles, very important, especially when it comes to surveying work. We move on sequencing and series, graphs, trigonometry, rotated 10 hours, longitude and latitudes, uh, coordinate geometry and locky. Then there is mensuration itself, rotated 6 hours. This is what you are supposed to cover. Uh, take that topic in mensuration seriously. Permutation, combination, and binomial expansion. Uh, is all, these topics are always there in engineering courses, but notice here they are treated as a single topic and allocated only five hours. Vectors again two topics in uh, high school for covering vectors, allocated six hours. Next is probability one, allocated four hours, and then finally the statistic. In the second year of study, you do complex numbers, differential calculus. This is differentiation and various methods of differentiation. Allocated 15 hours, that is a much better. Uh, hyperbolic function, this is an ex extension of trigonometry. Uh, integral calculus, this is integration. You cover all method of integration. And allocated five, hour, 5 hours, this is quite retro. Therefore, that's why you need that work you do in high school. Integration in your last year of study, make sure you take it seriously. Ordinary differential equation or ODE is a solution for various ordinary differential equation. This is first order equation and second order equation. This is what you are supposed to cover. It is allocated five hours. Uh, it really requires integral and differential calculus for you to maneuver around this. The operator method is also a method for solving second order, second order differential equations. Power series. We will cover the Macaulay theorem and Taylor's theorem. In the third year of study, that is Mathematics 3, the various topics are numerical method, it's about uh, interpolation and extrapolation. Matrices, you cover it in high school, there is matrices 1 and 2, they are located 18 hours. Uh, probability 2, located 20 hours. Statistic 2, located 21 hours. And all these sorts are supposed to cover. I believe that will be enough time for you to understand the various concepts in this topic. If you check the past paper, uh, for example, this uh, past paper, NEC examination, October, November 2017, you see mathematics is always combined with physical science for courses in building technology, civil engineering, and architecture. So what we have gone through for building, the mathematics topics will be exactly the same for those who are pursuing civil engineering and architecture. So we do not need to go through the syllabus for civil engineering and architecture because the topic are the same and the exam is exactly the same. If you move on to the second year of study, again, if you check one a past paper for the second year of study, I've also checked a used paper for October, November 2017. Mathematics will be combined with surveying, that is Mathematics 2 and surveying 2. Uh, the Next is a paper, is for the third year of study, that is Mathematics 3. Mathematics 3 is combined with the surveying 3. With that, we can make a good decision whether you can manage a course in civil, building, or architecture. But, but of course, there are other topics in these areas that has a bit of um, calculations. But I believe the mathematics that you cover in mathematics, it will be enough to support you manage the various mathematic concepts in other subjects. And that's why by going through this, it is obvious, this is supposed to help you manage other topics or manage other units in either building, civil engineering and architecture. So if you can manage this mathematic, definitely even the other subject will be able to manage. The next video I'll compare uh, the various mathematic topics in electrical, mechanical and civil engineering we see, depending with your capability in mathematics or depending with your potential in mathematics, which one is your best area. So that you do not add up overestimating your potential in mathematics or you do not add up underestimating your potential in mathematics. But, but then again, it will always bear with your interest. 
If you're interested with civil engineering, building, architecture, that is the best area for you. If you're interested with electrical, is the best area for you. If you're interested in mechanical, is the best area for you. But then again, if you're interested in that particular area, uh, do you meet the requirement? Are you capable in successively pursuing the course? Because I've seen many students, they have joined electrical engineering or mechanical engineering, the entry grade is C minus, the NEC do not specify you should have this grade in mathematics. NEC and KAE also do not specify that you must have done physics. So students end up joining with no physics, with D- in mathematics, and they end up struggling. By the first or second year of study, they have already dropped out of the courses. I believe I have not wasted your time in this video, and certainly not in the next video.